Who's ready to react to some cringe? I am. What's going on, everybody? Will YM here back at it again with a brand new video and a brand new reaction. So, today, the one, the only, the problem child himself, Jake Paul has released a diss track in 2022. Who, you might ask? UFC president, Mr. That's Fucking Illegal himself, Dana White. Yes, <laughs> we're in 2022 and we are making YouTube diss tracks. Jake Paul has just released a diss track, Dana White diss track. <laughs> Not even... Um, oh, wow, Crypt is react just dropped a reaction to this. Um, anyway... So yeah, Dana White just tracked. And I just noticed in the description, all proceeds from this video go to underpaid fighters in the UFC who get paid the 12K minimum. Bullshit. <laughs> I like how he just pretends to support to support the fighters, support the people who don't get paid enough. While you get paid millions, my guy. Is this really for the underpaid fighters anyway? 3 minutes, 36 seconds. Are we expecting flames? I'm not. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Diss track 2022, baby. Oh, of course, the cocaine bar. <sighs> Always. The events and subject matter portrayed in the song and video are fic are fictitious and used and should not be taken as factual reporting. All public figure or celebrity depictions, likeliness, and voices are strictly intended to be impersonation and personality parody. The video and song are merely an opinion and artistic interpretation. So he's saying that this track is all fiction. Why are we here? Oh, sorry, everyone. I just thought I would get some uh, water. It appears that uh, the tears of Dana White are in here. <sighs> I'm joking. It's the tears on Jake Paul's team because he's not in the UFC. So, yeah, I guess now we shouldn't take this track seriously. I wasn't going to take it seriously anyways. UCF headquarters. Ha, <laughs> they don't want to be sued. Oh, shit. Is that Chris Cyborg? Wow. Okay. I wonder how much you had to pay her to get in there. Apparently more than the UFC. They do all. Wow. Well, what the fuck? I want to read that. Dana's to do list raise pay per view prices. <laughs> Pay fighters less. Send Connor I love you text. Oh, you just love talking shit to Connor McGregor. I think this is less of a Dana White distract and more of a hey Connor McGregor, I exist. Eight mile. <laughs> He was probably watching 8 Mile before this, and it's like, oh, everybody from the 313? I can use that for the UFC. Everybody from the 313, put your mother... Okay, I'll stop. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, yeah, so. Uh, an unnecessary diss towards Jorge Masvidal. One of my favorites. I don't. Jason, if you're watching this, this is true. He's one of my favorites. Um. <laughs> And then it's like, oh, these fighters are underpaid and they can't quit and shit like that. Dude, you get paid millions of dollars for what? Five fights you've had? How many? How much do you get paid? And you're acting, he's acting like he supports these fighters. You don't quit with the act, man. Quit with it. Now, granted, underpaid fighters, sure. I don't support that at all. And you're risking your lives. You're in the UFC. Yeah, you should get paid a lot. A hell of a lot. Uh, but do I believe that this jackass is uh, really cares about how much UFC fighters get paid? No. I think Jake Paul's just trying to win over people because people have been hating him since he started this whole boxing phase of his career. Bullshit. Of course. Shit, my bad. Nate Diaz, where's the, besides the fuck Dana White in that little intro with Chris Cyborg, what is this with Dana White? Oh, for God's sake. 2021 breakup fighter of the year. Just five fights into his professional boxing career. The 24-year-old lightning rod has elevated the sport while skipping its outdated ladder to success. Boxing edition. I don't really hate Jake Paul. Like, people think I hate him. He hasn't been thorn in my side. Dana. You might want to change that. I don't think that's a direct quote from him, though. Fuck's sake. Also... Besides Floyd Mayweather and uh, Tyson Fury, like everyone's gonna think Jake Paul in boxing. Not much people can name like ten boxers unless you're a diehard boxing fan. If you ask the general public, "Hey, who's a boxer?" You know, everyone's gonna say Jake Paul. No wonder why he won Sports Illustrated Breakout Fighter of the Year. Fuck every Tyrone Woodley fight and the Ben Askren. Fight a real fighter. This has become a Jake Paul roast. Oh, so there we go. There's a Tommy Fury bar. Jake, go fight a a real boxer. He got injured. <laughs> Tyson Fury's brother scared. There we go. My tummy hurts, Tommy Fury. Oh, for God's sakes, man. Oh, shit. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Coca-Cola cocaine. I see what you did there. Whoever did the jokes for this video is good. I don't think Jake Paul came up with the comedy. Whoever is that Conor McGregor lookalike, they did a shit job. McGregor attested in Miami Beach. Even his new boat can't keep him above water. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I see that because of his ankle injury in UFC. I get it. I get it. And the Joe Rogan sit-down interview. There was no check. I want a UFC contract. I want more clout and fame. I'll pretend I like fighters so that way I can win respect. Out. 
Wow. Then go to MMA, see how long you last. I'm sorry, but if CM Punk can't last, neither can you, buddy. Unless you get a good-ass trainer. Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what really I expected from that. <laughs> this is just, hey, I don't like Conor McGregor. I don't like Maz at all. And I don't like the motherfucker saying that I'm not a real boxer, even though I'm not. I, I don't know what I expected. Um, this is just him trying to win respect. This is just him... Uh, being like, hey, I know you hate me and I don't care. He's trying to be like the next Conor McGregor while calling out Conor McGregor, you know. Um, I, I thought that um, Dana White went on a podcast saying, hey, man, I don't hate Jake Paul or some shit like that. I remember that. I thought their beef uh, settled, but I guess not. When views come calling and public respect comes calling... You can stab anybody in the back. So what do you want, Jake? You want a cookie? You want a UFC contract? You want public respect? Oh, I bet you do. Because you don't... I bet you don't stand with the real fighters. If you did... Then show proof that all the proceeds to this video are going to um, the underpaid fighters. Also, you're calling out the underpaid fighters while you're calling out Jorge and Diaz. Are you talking about the undercard people? Or are you talking about all of them? Because that means you're going to have to pay Masvidal and Diaz and even McGregor. What are you trying to prove? You want that McGregor fight, don't you, buddy? Anyway, that's been it. Uh, the Dana White diss track. <sighs> In ratings, I'll give it a, I'll give it a solid five for the video in itself and the Chris Cyborg appearance. Other than that, that's really been it. This has been Woe I Am. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.